Now let's start with last week's T-bill auction. I mean, what's your take on what happened in that auction? Uh, traders say uh, yields trended lower. In terms of, in, uh, what was your take in terms of subscription levels? Yeah, last week uh, there was a TBO auction on Wednesday across uh, the three maturities, 91, 182, and 364 days. After which uh, we had the stop rates at 12.88% uh, for 91 days, 13.25% uh, for 182, and 13.27% uh, uh, for 364 days. Um, um, Subscription level stood at uh, about uh, 246 billion naira, which is quite high. Uh, the subscription was much seen on the 364-day TVs. I think um, this still goes ahead to talk about uh, or to show the presence of offshore investors in the Nigerian market due to our high yields in the market since uh, the, in, uh, the rates we are increased to 12 percent uh, in October last year. The Nigerian yields have been so high here by attracting more foreign investors to the market. Mm, well, in that case, Judy, what's happening over in the secondary market, the over-the-counter market? Uh, uh, of course, we, we're also seeing yields trending lower there. I mean, what's, what is the case uh, this week so far? Yeah, this week uh, we've seen buy pressure on the OTC market, especially on the seven-year benchmark. There have been demand for that bond, which is still driving the um, yields down. But I think uh, the whole demand pressure is actually coming from demand from the uh, foreign investors, like I earlier mentioned. Uh, like today, the demand was more seen on the seven-year benchmark. Right, Judy. Well, um, you keep talking about high demand from offshore investors. What really is driving sentiment, uh, especially uh, this week? Yeah, what's actually driving sentiment this week is, uh, you know, last week there was a bond auction after which uh, some uh, investors didn't get allotment. So we see those investors moving to the secondary market to cover up for the shorts, uh, the shortage they had during the last week's, the shortage in allotment which they had during the last week's uh, auction. So the influence of last week's auction is actually what is actually driving the market. Okay, well, going into the, uh, this week, uh, what's, what's your take on what's going to uh, happen in the market, in the bond market? Now, of course, we're going to be expecting an OMO bill a maturity worth 16.63 billion, billion naira this week. What are your expectations uh, for that maturity uh, uh, this week? And, of course, what impact is it going to have on liquidity in the system? Do you expect uh, liquidity uh, to be high or moderate? Yeah, I expect the liquidity to be moderate because when you look at the volume of uh, UMO bills, which is maturing, it's just about uh, 16 billion, which may not have uh, much impact in the market, considering how our market here trades, it won't have uh, much impact. Mm, but what, is, what are your expectations for those, that maturity that's coming up? Sorry. Can you come again? Your expectations for the OMO bill maturity uh, worth 16.63 billion naira that will be maturing this week. Yes, that, that was actually what I said. The volume is not really much. It's not something that can um, influence the market much. I still expect the market to remain where it is, as in the market to remain flat during the week, considering okay. Okay, other well, factors. Well, uh, Judy, let's talk. Let's uh, turn our attention, of course, to the currency now. I mean, Nigeria's naira. Uh, we saw it hit a three-week high against the dollar yesterday. Now, what is your outlook uh, for the currency going forward? Yeah, going forward, I still expect uh, the currency to gain more or remain stable at where it is, uh, considering the fact that this is the end of month. You know, here in Nigeria, the foreign oil companies used to do end of month sales to meet up with uh, their local obligations. So doing that, selling those um, volume of uh, dollars to the market makes the market more liquid as it makes the 
makes a dollar availability to the market. So that makes the Naira to gain a little bit.